capabilities of the TH-73 Alpha. It's going to allow us to uh, more uh, closely replicate the uh, performance capabilities and the uh, tactical capabilities of a fleet aircraft. It's going to give us an increase in payload, speed, the tactical employment of the aircraft. We're going to get after the mission sets that the uh, students are going to need to be more familiar with when they get to the fleet. Uh, so it's going to allow us to close some of the gaps that we've had uh, over the years with an antiquated uh, older airframe. Uh, the fleet has taken off and has gone to the, uh, you know, the more modern digital systems. Uh, and under the analog systems of our previous platform, we were just falling behind. Uh, so this allows us now to, to get back up on step with the fleet and provide a better trained and more capable student when they leave here with their wings. Uh, with the current helicopter that we're flying, the TH-57, it's a great training helicopter, but it's very power limited. We don't have any aircraft in the fleet that are power limited, so having an aircraft with excess power and learning how to control that and manage that energy is going to be a big improvement. This aircraft, compared to flying an NH-60, there are some similarities that we feel we can really build on to improve the product that comes out of here. The biggest difference from the 57 to the 73 is the, is the glass display. But also some key characteristics are a, a lower inertia, more free fleet representative rotor system, as well as some automation tools that our, our pilots increasingly see in their fleet aircraft. I've been a part of the program since 2018. So being here at this moment, if long awaited is, is tremendous. It's an, it's an important step as we work forward to modernize and advance our curriculum. We take a lot of pride in the work that we do here, as does Santa Rosa County and many others. And using this machine, we believe that we can continue to shape the finest helicopter pilots in the world.